What well a hello YouTube, today we'll be doing a little bit of an Albedo playtest showcase with his new weapon, the uh, Cinnabar Spindle at Refinement 5, which has 69 defense percentage as substat, and the passive would be increasing his elemental skill damage by 80% of his defense as well. The current artifacts that I have is Hus and Emblem because I haven't farmed a 4 piece Hus just yet, so this is my pieces. High crit rate, crit damage, defense and crit damage, crit damage and crit rate, geo damage, crit rate, crit damage, and crit rate, some defense, crit damage, and ER, yeah? Constellation 6 recently and talent level 11. Current stats would be 2500 defense, 75 crit rate, 151 crit damage, and 144 ER with 75 geo damage. Ideally, I would want a 4 piece hus so I can get 24% more defense and 24% more geo damage, but hey, that'll take some time. I will be using Albedo with Zongli Kazuha Bennett because, well, Goro and Ito isn't out yet, so this is the best I can do for now. Plus, I don't have the Geo MC or Ningguang really built. We've lost every single pity with Albedo when trying to pull for Albedo C6. We got two Chi Chi's, a Kaching, a D Luke, and a Jean. Let me just skip this. Are you fucking? I actually lost every pity! So, um. This is one expensive Albedo to build. There's one thing that everyone has to know about this. So right now, if I were to hit with Albedo, it would do 22,000 damage. 22,000 damage, right? But if I were to go on Albedo and attack, it would do 27,000 damage. The main reason for this, and the reason why people were asking, why does Albedo do more damage if, he, if he's on the field, is because of the Geo Resonance. So Geo Resonance increased shield strength by 15%, increased damage dealt by 15%, and dealing Geo damage to enemy will decrease their Geo defense by 20% for 15 seconds, right? But this passive only activates if the character is on the field. So if you play Albedo on the field, his E will do more damage. So if he's the active character as well, and you know, additionally, Albedo also do more damage if um enemies below half health, right? So that's just something out of the way, just in case you see inconsistent damage number. Mr. Cole, do you get to play with Envy yesterday? Well, I didn't get to play Apex with Envy yesterday. He said, let's play today. And he sits on Abyss for four hours. And I've already been streamed for, for nine hours. I'm like, oh my God, dude. I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. 21. Two stack. Three stack. Four stack. Let me ult. Great That's around like 28,000 damage there and like 11k tick, right? So I guess with full Hus set, with full Hus set, I should be doing like 30k damage on E and on Q and maybe like 13, 14k damage on the proc on the elemental burst as well. Try Masanori. We can probably test it on Masanori. This. So I guess with C0 and fully built and stuff, I'd say you'd be hitting around like maybe 25,000 damage would be the average for Albedo. Feel this ancient power. Cause like the Albedo Constellation doesn't really increase his damage that much, but mostly his artifacts, right? It's the fact that he's still, at the end of the day, a Geo character. And Geo as an element just relies so much on raw stat. It's kind of difficult to um, increase their damage in, uh, in any other means, really. So you either have... Now, okay, back then you can use the 3-star um, the weapon, Harbinger of Dawn, and just go for like defense, Geo defense, because it gives you very high crit stats already, both crit damage and crit rate. But now since his best weapon, Cinnabar Spindle, increases damage by like 30%, right? It increases damage, but it also makes him turn into a normal Geo character again. A ca a, an element that relies on raw stats. So, he becomes difficult to build again, right? Like, for Geo character, I'd say only Zhongli is the cheap to build Geo character. 
because of um he can build triple health and main stat and that's all he needs i don't know how many times i have to say this fact but geo character is super expensive to build it feels nice whenever you completely build them and they start to do work but before then they just feel kind of lackluster early game they feel good because this is how it works right they have really high base damage but their scaling isn't that high so at early game it feels amazing at mid game it feels kind of mediocre and at late game unless you have like godly investment on them they feel meh Fallen leaves adorn my knights, one with nature. Witness my great undertaking. 44,000 damage there. Was I yeah. in the field? Let's light it up. Oh no. Into the wind. I missed my E. Oh. Hmm. Wait, wait. Albedo's. Wait, okay. Albedo's E? Okay, yeah, so against bosses, I keep forgetting this, but bosses hitbox destroys the um all geo construct, right? Hitbox from bosses destroys all geo construct. Geo construct, as far as I know, has the same health with your character, but it doesn't have defense, right? So if your character has 19k health, it'll have 19k health, but it won't have any defense, right? It's just there. Solidified. Try fighting Andreas with Albedo. This Andreas just destroys all your geo constructs. Coming to be. Yeah, he just instantly deleted. Yeah, the geo construct First. scales with the character health, right? But not the fence. I think it's something minor. That they can fix? I mean, they can, it's a, the, do you need it though? Like, Albedo's cooldown is so short anyway. Do you even need it? Like, do we even need to change it so that uh, Albedo's uh, construct scales with the health? Albedo's construct health? Like, it can get destroyed, right? If it just be a little bit tankier, I don't think it would matter because the cooldown is how much? Four seconds anyway. For if you're ever fighting Oceanet, Albedo is useless. Zongli is also useless. Well, I guess he can still shield. But no Geo Construct can exist here. Hey, you can do the initial damage though, right? You can do that initial damage and then it disappears. Wait, that AoE is pretty big. Wait, hold up. Can I select? Not really. It's kind of like Goro, right? It's a 4 second cooldown though, so it's not too bad. 3000, oh my god. Well, let me just... Oh. Let's light it up! Without solid ground, terrestrial creatures... Can you use the sleeping. elevator to reach the birds? Yeah, pain. Like, like, you put it, like, near the edge, and hopefully it works. Like that, and do I hit? No, no, th th there's a height limit on it. There's a height limit on it. You can't reach it. So there's a height limit on Albedo's skill. You can't hit it. More left on the bridge? Hmm. Can I put it there? Does that work? Does that work? It worked? Did it work? Hold up. So there, and I, I'll hit. Yeah, okay, it works! It's kind of scuffy, though. <laughs> it does work. see what happens when you lose your foothold. <laughs> it's kind of scammy. What the fuck, okay. though? This is how Albedo mains clear the ocean. They just kind of put it on the corner like there. <laughs> and then it can hit. <laughs> okay, let me reposition it. Come here, man! Die! Die! 
burst forth. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. Wait, that was a big AOE. Wait, 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 that was a big AOE as well. What the hell? To be. No, never mind. <laughs> Die. It's kind of scuffy though, but I guess you can play the Oceanit boss with Albedo as long as you camp this one area. But what if the Oceanit destroys this platform though? Like the Oceanit will never destroy the middle platform, right? Albedo mains living on the edge. <laughs> Pretty uh, accurate. Yeah, they just they just sit here and try to beat it, right? Because otherwise you can't place the platform anywhere here. Interesting. Petrify. Into the wind. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. The wind knows. Go in. Witness my great undertaking. This is order. Gather. I feel like they're gonna just gonna destroy that pillar. One with nature. Yeah, this is gonna destroy my construct. Is it destroyed? No, it's still there. Let me replace it then. So if I do this into old, into Kazuha, into Albedo, into Zhongli, hold E. And then here. Into the wind. That should be clean. Solidify. Teamwork is dreamwork. CC. So from what I've known, like if the um if the enemy applies uh what's the word? If the enemy applies corrosion onto you and you kill the enemy that applies corrosion, you dispel it, right? So right now I have corrosion. If I kill it, it should just disappear. Okay, I, I kind of want him to attack me again to apply the corrosion. Yeah. Order guide. No, it's not. Oh, okay, maybe it's just like... Is it wrong? Then it's the domain, right? Oh, I missed that. So it's only in the domain? Only in the uh the domain where if you kill enemy that that applies corrosion, you dispel the corrosion, huh? Feel this ancient power. Hmm. Well this team has a lot of AoE though. It does have a lot of AoE, but I feel like another character would provide more AoE. <laughs> would be better. Maybe like a cryo or a hydro would AoE even harder, but Hmm. Replace Albedo with gun you. I mean, that's not the point, right? Albedo is more of like an off-field DPS that applies some damage, some utility, and that's mainly it. Albedo is as easy as it gets to play, right? You just switch on Albedo, put your E down, it has a massive AoE radius, and you forget about it. 